Hydro One is committed to delivering electricity safely, reliably, and efficiently to our customers, both now and in the future. To fulfill that commitment, we are continually looking at ways to enrich Ontario's energy grid to better serve our customers. The new Clarington Transformer Station in the municipality of Clarington is a prime example of this commitment. The Pickering Nuclear Generating Station is approaching its final years of operation and will be retired between 2018 and 2020. The generating station serves as much as 25% of the area's electricity demand. To accommodate the eventual closure of the Pickering Generating Station, Clarington Transformer Station is needed to sustain reliability of load supply, ensure future electricity growth in the area, and to serve one million customers in the East GTA. The project area borders Concession Road 7 to the south, Langmaid Road to the east, Durham Road north to the north, and Grandview Street north to the west. The property where the station will be built is where the existing 230 kilovolt and 500 kilovolt lines meet. The transmission lines have been here for over 40 years. A number of steps need to be taken to prepare the property for the new station. First, existing Hydro One structures need to be relocated or removed. These structures are indicated as red dots in this animation. The relocation or removal will be followed by a clearing of the transmission corridor, site grading and the construction of an access road. The construction of the station, including the approvals process, is expected to take 42 months from the completion of the environmental assessment. Looking south, you can now see the station in place, its overall dimensions and the new transmission infrastructure. The station will transform 500 kilovolt power to 230 kilovolt power through two power transformers, which will then be distributed to local distributors in the area before reaching customers. The basic dimensions of the station are approximately 300 meters in width and 413 meters in length. Now let's take a look at what makes up the local terrain. The terrain is divided into four layers. The Newmarket Till containing the sand lenses directly underneath the surface, the Thorncliffe Aquifer, lower deposits, and then the Whitby Shale Bedrock. The Newmarket Till is an impermeable layer estimated to be 50 to 100 meters thick. Below that, the Thorncliffe Aquifer is an estimated 20 to 50 meters thick. A shallow 2 to 4 meter groundwater table exists in places near the surface. The station's foundations will not exceed more than 11 meters in depth into the Newmarket Till and will not approach the Thorncliffe Aquifer. Some intermediate wells get water from sand lenses located within the Newmarket Till. Deeper wells get water from the Thorncliffe Aquifer. Now let's take a look at the preparation and construction of the station from a variety of different viewpoints. Viewpoint 1 is looking in a northeasterly direction from Winchester Road. This is the existing view. The red dots at the bottom of your screen indicate the existing Hydro One structures that will be relocated or removed. The green dots indicate the new transformer station and infrastructure. The station fence line is highlighted in yellow. First, you'll see the corridor clearing process, then site grading. And now Clariton Transformer Station and new transmission structures are brought in. Viewpoint 2 is looking southeast from Grandview Street and south of Durham Road North. This is the existing view. Here you'll see the relocation or removal of the Hydro One existing structures. 
Then the station and new structures are constructed. Viewpoint 3 is looking northwest onto Hydro One's existing 500 kilovolt line. This perspective shows the right of way from Langmaid Road north of Concession Road 7. This is the existing view. Then the Hydro One structures are relocated or removed. And now the new transformer station and infrastructure are brought in. Viewpoint 4 looks at the creation of Clarington Transformer Station from the north, northeasterly view of Townline Road North. This is the existing view. Then you see the structure relocation or removal process and corridor clearing to ready the area. And now the new station and transmission infrastructure are constructed. Hydro One is committed to protecting the environment to keep Ontario and Ontarians healthy and safe. To do this, we follow strict environmental requirements under the Ministry of the Environment. With Clarington Transformer Station, Hydro One will better serve our local and East GTA customers and enhance the province's power system. Hydro One invests in Ontario's future, today and tomorrow. Hydro One, partners in powerful communities.